Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and the good ending is upon us, ladies and gentlemen. Seven days ago, I made a video where I talked about Team Fortress 2 and why Valve needs to fix it. Because for those of you who don't know, Team Fortress 2, unfortunately, was a game, or is still a game right now, that has been taken over by bots. Yes, artificial intelligence has taken it over. Now, if you ever played a game from Valve, you know that they make some of the most popular online titles ever. Dota 2, uh, Left 4 Dead 2, uh, Portal 2, there's a lot of 2s, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, and believe it or not, Day of Defeat. But one of the games that they made was Team Fortress 2. Now, I know about Team Fortress 2 all the way back. I remember buying the orange box on the Xbox 360 because I saw Adam Sessler talk about that shit on X-Play, and I figured, ooh, boy, I got an online game with this. Now, Team Fortress 2 and me, I have a little bit of a history i played the game from time to time usually whenever i built a new pc back in the day that was like my test game okay you play it for a few hours and you kind of move on now of course when i got the old ooh, g fuel relax over there i'll smell you later i don't think you're supposed to be snorting it but uh we'll figure out tomorrow now ever since i got the uh, good old-fashioned steam deck it was my first actual game attempt now of course team fortress 2 runs absolutely well on this device as it should Unfortunately, the online servers, when matchmaking, pair you up with people that are bots. You can tell that they're bots because they magically steal your name, a bunch of them randomly join in, and they all manage to pick Sniper and blow your fucking head straight to the goddamn moon. It's gotten to a point where trying to play the game through regular matchmaking is impossible. Unless you rely on community servers, that's where things become actually playable. Now, of course, I want to append something from the last video. I talked about, you know, Team Fortress 2's player count being heavily inflated. I think I said that somewhere around 1,000 to like two, 3,000 players are playing the game. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I actually do believe that there's tens, 20,000 players on the game. I won't trust these player numbers because they are subsidized via the bots. And there's a lot of goddamn bots. Now, Valve has done something awesome. In the last two years, their Team Fortress 2 social media manager was basically dead, okay? I think they left the office, they didn't care, they didn't want to sign in, maybe they were working on Team Fortress 3, okay? Now, they actually signed back in, I think they dug up the old password somewhere, and once they signed on to the old social media, they noticed that there was an actual protest going on with Team Fortress 2. No, I'm not actually talking about, you know, protesting in the game, like marching and shit, you know, within like, you know, a random server. I'm actually talking about a peaceful protest online with the TF2 campaign. Hashtag save Team Fortress 2. May 26th, yesterday, it means a lot to numerous people. You got the heavy and you got the spy shaking some good old hands. Now, of course, the Team Fortress 2 community might probably be one of the nicest communities I've ever seen. In fact, if anything, and you should never do this, one of them even appeared to go to the actual offices of Valve. They got kicked out because they had the hashtag safe TF2 sign. But I gotta say, that spy cosplay looks a little goddamn uncanny. I do have to say, as intuitive as this is, do not show up at the offices of game companies, okay? Look, us GTA Online players get a little pissed over Rockstar Games, especially over the fact that they keep putting in the goddamn oppressor, especially over the fact that they keep turning that game into a fucking sweatshop. But you don't see us showing up at Rockstar offices, nor should we, nor should we ever. Move on with your life if it gets that serious. But of course, they staged this protest. A lot of people came in, raised a big hoopla. I made a video about it. Several other YouTubers made a video about it. The TF2 community specially raised a lot of awareness on it. And Valve had to listen to the point where their social media manager, after two years of radio silence, said, TF2 community, we hear you. We love this game and know you do too. We see how large this issue has become and are working to improve things. Things. <laughs> you know, I wish some other developers did this. You know, some other, they'd be rock stars if they did. If they covered some of their other online games, maybe gave them a bit of a redemption, okay, before they were dead and the players were seeing red. You know, maybe that would have been awesome if some developers would do that. No, Muda, you, prom you promised to take the medicine and not yell about it. So I'm going to get back to the entire thing. But you know, 
official acknowledgement is something to behold, okay? Now, it doesn't mean anything necessarily. Actions speak louder than words. And these are just words, may I remind you. You know, as somebody that uh, was, was uh, sort of orbiting the Titanfall community for a little bit, I remember Respawn even tweeting out, this is like literally like try to identify the differences in this. We're aware of the ongoing DDoS attacks affecting Titanfall game. To the Titanfall community, help is coming ASAP. Now, if you don't know, Titanfall is basically the original source material for the much popular Apex Legends. Now, of course, I'm a Titanfall kind of guy. I haven't been playing it too much lately, but if you know about Titanfall, you know that for a while, both games actually went through a severe amount of DDoS attacks to the point where every once in a while, Titanfall stickied online always usually has like, hey, the game's playable. Hey, sometimes it's mostly playable. The entire idea is back in the day, there were so many DDoS attacks that as soon as you connect it to servers, they would, DDoSers would basically kick and boot people out of the entire game this became such a massive issue that it started a bit ho big hoopla and of course while most of the issue has subsided recently i played some titanfall 2 on pc and uh it, it works. I haven't been kicked out of a game yet, but who knows when issues subside all the time. Yes, there are actually hackers out there that commit federal crimes. Yes, DDoSing is a federal crime because they want to annoy and troll Titanfall players. Yes, someone is that devoid of the human touch that that's as far as they will go. But of course, with Team Fortress 2 getting back on track, yes, there were a lot of people that ran bots on Team Fortress 2. And you know what? I think a lot of it has to be chalked up to how modular Valve's Source Engine is and how many mods exist for a lot of their titles, Left 4 Dead, Counter-Strike Go, and Team Fortress 2 to no extent, that honestly, script kiddies run rampant on this nonsense. Yes, there are people that are hacking on Team Fortress 2 and running bots to literally just ruin the experience of randomly new players and just the general player base that exists. Now, I have a firm belief that if you're a gaming company that is still selling a game, even though Team Fortress 2 is free to play, one simple sign-on will tell you, yes, they sell cosmetics, meaning that there is a certain amount of money that Valve is making off of this game. If you make money on a game, you, you should maintain it, okay? You should completely maintain that title. So, of course, that's where I stand. And Valve has an obligation to fix their game and they absolutely should. Now, whether they do it, we're going to have to hold them to task. Of course, the botting isn't the only issue. There's still a big amount of hacking that exists on the system to the point where it took me five seconds to find a piece of shit service known as Lamau Box. I absolutely do not recommend you ever buy this and I absolutely deplore this product and I absolutely condemn it because this is just a group of actual losers selling a hack product. And of course, for $20, Valve needs to not only destroy the bots, but they need to seriously sue these people. Okay, I'm talking fucking sue them to the ground. Use the billions of dollars you're making off the goddamn products you sell, the store you run, and the decks you're selling to sue these pieces of shit into absolute fucking oblivion. Because even these people are ruining the game to no extent. Literally, they have YouTube channels. You cannot upload this content to YouTube without getting hit with community guideline strikes, okay? They've been uploading this shit since 2018. These problems have been happening for years. Again, this is a new. Valve needs to stop this all right, in every capacity before this game or potentially any of the other games that they make get ruined. Now, I have to chalk this up to the fact that some of the reporting on this was mostly about the fact that, hey, while these bots exist, there are a lot of bots that are just straight up blasting pornography over the voice chat and posting really racist, homophobic, transphobic shit all the time in the text chat and whatnot. Now, of course, with, you know, stuff like that, with like news like that floating around, any company is going to jump in and stop that shit right there and then. You know, if your product ever gets the tagline worse than poll, then you probably need to step in and fix it up. I think a lot of that had to play into the fact that Valve as a company needs to stop it just to make sure that people's first impression of any title that they release doesn't come off with the worst possible experience ever so that it can be regurgitated, spread throughout the internet and ripple and, sh and, and sell shockwaves, if you will, right? Like that's one thing that I feel like really was a contributing factor. But generally, I think there's a good portion of Valve, you know, a good portion in the company that just wants to make the game functional and play again. Valve is one of the biggest gaming companies out there. And honestly, 
they might be one of the last few good gaming companies out there. In a sea of people addicted to blockchains, NFTs, and battle passes, and fucking shoving in Oppressor Mark IIs and not updating one of the best cowboy games of all time, sorry, I'll never get over it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm glad that Valve is taking care of it, and honestly, I'm glad for the Team Fortress 2 community. And you know what? This proves no matter what, the only way to get anything done in the gaming sphere is to raise a hoopla, proving that developers and publishers have a weird humiliation cuckolding fetish. And you know what? Maybe that's all it takes to get to their attention. Because writing emails, you know, you're, you're being nice about it doesn't really make anything. Publicly shaming a company into actually acknowledging that there may be issues in their product seems to be the only way to get to them. That said, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. I am